Guys, welcome back to the channel, it's uh, Ian at All Out Adventure. Today's video, I'm going to be doing the Cardo Freecom 4 Plus fitment to the uh, LS2 Explorer 701 helmet. Uh, and we'll just talk about a couple of different things as we go along. Um, yeah, so let's get after it. So the Cardo Freecom 4 Plus, I've got no experience with this at all as a communicator. Um, I've just I've read the reviews, uh, it looks like a good piece of kit. So yeah, we're gonna get it fitted up, see how we got on with it, uh, and then see how it goes with fitment to this particular helmet. Okay, so straight out of the box then, um, you get loads of different accessories. You've got your, obviously your charging cable, uh, you've got the boom mic if you're wearing an open face helmet, and then you've, you've got your ear attachments as well. So you've got your internal fixtures, which are going to go in place at either side of the helmet for your, uh, your actual headphones to attach onto. And then you've got the, uh, the wire mic, which we're going to be installing today in this particular helmet. And then we've actually got the communicator and its fitment, de uh, fitment device, which goes on the side. And then obviously your communicator is what you take on and off your helmet when you want to charge it, uh, keep it in safekeeping so it doesn't get damaged. We've got an external fitment device as well um, for this particular helmet. I did discuss it in the previous one when I looked at this helmet. I didn't think that this was going to be uh, a workable solution uh, for fitting onto this. And there's just no room because of where the sun visor um, lever is, there's no position for this to go on. So it's going to be using the, uh, the external uh, fitment, which is uh, the glue pad type, and we can get this fitted onto the side. <laughs> without having to interfere um, with the sun visor fitment. So yeah, that's uh, all the accessories kind of going to kind of need. We're not going to be using the boom mic today, so we can do away do with that, and uh, it's already charged up. So, get the equipment. You've got your external detachment, you've got your communicator itself, your earpieces and pads, and then your mic, um, which we're, in this case we're going to be using the wire mic uh, and getting it fitted in. Um, Preparation for the helmet, you're going to need to get all the padding and uh, the internal padding of the helmet taken out and get access to all that so you can then get everything fitted in. So we'll just crack on with that just now. <coughs> like I said, it's a good thing with the LS2 helmets, you've got the, the pull away cheek pads, it gives you access. Yeah, so nice and easy. Oh. Button type, right, and now you can get access into the, the externals. Be careful when you're doing it because a brand new helmet, you don't want to be ripping anything apart like me. Cheek pads come out, a couple of buttons at the back in these helmets. And that'll give you access to the inners of the helmet. Um, when you're going to fit in the, the actual boom mic or the actual ear pieces themselves, you want that wire running across the top of the helmet, so straight inside, right along the top, um, and that's going to give you the, the perfect angulation for the, uh, the antenna for when you're using the radio mic. So you can see in here just now, I don't actually need to take all that pad out, it's already set up just to run the wire straight through at either side uh, and likewise on that side there's already located parts for the pieces to be uh, to be placed in the situ so um, it should be pretty straightforward to insert these um, some of the other helmets are a bit, a bit of pain in the arse um, you can't really get them inserted without making alterations to the helmet so first thing we want to do you're going to run it down to your left hand side of your face so the shorter of the two i.e. with your plug-in, it's going to be on the left-hand side and then your main one's going to be on the right-hand side and you can run that down through the back of the cheek pieces all the way into the helmet. Quite straightforward. Right guys, so once you position your ear pieces in, you've ran your cable straight through underneath the helmet. You can see that the LS2, and it took me a while to find these, but they actually have the indents already made for these to fit in. Uh, on either side, there's a, a natural indent, and they just slot in there. So 
yeah, that's one for me to notice in the future. Um, just look for the natural indent before you actually go ripping things apart. Um, but yeah, make sure your other cable's running down through, through the middle of the helmet. The other thing's nice and snug, packed away before you start putting things back together. Alright, and there's your, your cables ready to run straight into your, uh, your communicator. Yep, so that was uh, pretty straightforward. I'm quite happy with the way that one's worked out. Again, once you've got it in place, just uh, make sure that it's sitting where you want it to sit. And I'm more than happy with that at this time. So next up then is you're uh, going to run out your communicator along to the, uh, the side that you want it to run along. So for this instance, the card is going to go to the left hand side. This is the actual way it sits. Um, it could, you could possibly fit it on the right, um, playing about with it. But if you look at the way the communicator sits, it is designed for the left hand side of the helmet. So it's going to sit on here. Um, and wherever you want to put that is, uh, is where it's going to sit. It's normally going to be on the left hand side. So, running the boom mic along then, or running the mic along, I'm going to position that along at the front of the helmet. You can see an actual recess in there, so I'm just going to run it along the side there and then it can just slot straight into the communicator. Okay. So there's your wire mic, you've not got a lot of length in this, so you get that positioned in, and then it's obviously there's a sister joint there. That's what's going to plug into when you're uh, when you're hooking up your helmet. And get that plumbed in at the front. And then we can just run it along the sides of the helmets, get everything tucked away nice and neat to where it's going to sit. Alright? And when it comes to fitting on your side, side piece or your mountain bracket, I'd say you want to keep it out of the way this uh, sun visor pull down or your sun visor lever. Uh, sit it somewhere where it's going to be out of the way everything. For me, I think that's going to look pretty good there. Once I'm happy with it, then I can then start plugging things in. See how it's going to sit? Yeah, plug everything in. Before you actually go gluing this down. Yeah. So for me, that's that's going to look pretty good there. And then I can get all the wires and everything tucked away inside the pad once I put it all back together. So, yeah. It's not going to be out of view of my visor. It's all Bluetooth voice control activated anyway with a new card of Freecom 4 Plus. So that being said, everything being uh, voice command, I don't really need to worry about playing about with buttons too much in the side of my helmet uh, with my gloves on. So um, I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, and yeah, we'll get that fitted up. So, I've got my position guys, I've got it wired up just now, I can see where everything's going to sit and where everything's going to fit. Uh, once I'm happy with that, I can then go and in ins install the cheek piece stroke communicator. Um, I don't want to read in front here, I'm going to stick with it at the back, uh, where it's going to be pretty much out of the way of everything. You get that stuck on. I can go ahead and undo the rest of the wires and then I can look at getting them all stacked away somewhere where they're going to be out of, out of my way and not cause me any interference. There is a lot of wire here, quite excessive to be honest, but I think once we get the cheap, piece, cheap pieces added back on, uh, everything will be good to go. Yeah. looking pretty good there. So guys there you have it, the card all fitted, obviously I'm going to tuck these wires away and I'll get my cheek pieces back on, um, but yeah that looks pretty decent, um, it can be fitted on, um, I was a wee bit anxious to the fact that the, uh, the visor pull was, 
going to be in the way of fitting Mercado 3 comp 4 plus. However, it's fitted on there quite nicely and I'm going to be more than happy with that. It's out of the way and it's going to be serving its purpose and doing the job it that it's supposed to be doing. So, if you want to follow me in another video uh, and I'm showing you how the operating features of this new Freecom work, uh, we'll try and get that together. Um, but yeah, next up, we'll give it a run out actually on the road and we'll see how it performs and I'll give you some feedback on it. But thanks for watching the video. If you are new to my video, uh, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Um, it is a new video and I'm getting used to uh, how to deliver these videos, so it's taking a little bit of time. But thanks for watching. Cheers.